Hey everybody, Duffman here, and I thought I'd do a little, one last uh, gear thing before I go out onto the trail tomorrow, the Wachita Trail, and new things I have on the trail with me. Uh, first of all, my shoes. These are Merrells, and as you can tell, they are not new. They're a little bit worn, but I got them in Austin when I went to a shoe foot store where they did all the scientific things and measured, got me my proper shoes, and got me some decent proper insoles. I've been wearing them to help my plantar fasciitis, which was sometimes crippling, but uh, actually last time I went on the Pinhoti, it seemed to have cured it. Maybe it's going up and down hills. I don't know, but these shoes really help, and so I'm carrying them with me. I noticed they're not very water repellent at all. I noticed this much today when I was hanging my food bag, uh, but they do seem pretty sturdy and uh, arable, uh, meaning they whisk heat and moisture and stuff away. Uh, I just uh, wish they were a little more waterproof, but I'm going to be using Merrell's this time around. Uh, also, thought I would bring toe socks, and toe socks I've been told are great uh, for stopping blisters. So if I'm feeling my toes, my tootsies are going to start blistering, uh, toe socks, I think, will help. I've worn these a few times. They're pretty darn sturdy. I don't know whose they are. Up, upgrade toe socks. Uh, they're very, very small. And yet another sock. If my other socks get wet, I can put on a dry pair of socks. This I found at Outdoors, Outdoor Supply, Ozark Outdoor Supply, right here in Little Rock, and it is a bag cover. It is by uh, Duter, and uh, <coughs> Duter, may I touch your monkey? No, and <laughs> so, <laughs> and now my Sprachets wie uh, It's pretty great because it was multiple sizes on the box, and it said it could cover this size, that size, this size, that size. Didn't understand why until I realized it's got a drawstring. So it can go from super large to super small. And what's really cool is that its carrying sack here is attached. So you are never going to lose that sack as long as you have this. Why did I get this? Because there has been torrential downpour here in Little Rock, and I was afraid of things getting soaked. Uh, so, rain cover three, 45 to 90 liters. Uh, I guess that could be it. Not exactly sure about 90, but I'll take it all the way up to 65. And once again, boneheaded move. Forgot my tracking poles. I walk out the door, they're literally right next to the door. All my trekking poles. And so, I've added yet another. Now, uh, normally I buy Cascade. They did not have Cascade where I was, so I got the Kelty, uh, Kelty built. Uh, these are apparently aluminum, aluminum, if you are British. They come with the locks. They had a much cheaper version that had the twisty kind, but I prefer the locks. Boy, howdy, of course. The cork handles and... The straps here are adjustable, so these were unfortunately like 69 bucks. But what are you gonna do? I can't, you know, I can hike. People have hiked without trekking poles, but I just, it drives me crazy. So I gotta have something to do with my hands. And so many times they've helped me out. Going uphill, going downhill, going through rocky areas, going through wet rock gardens. And as you can see, I went to the store and got some tape, and I have wrapped that around for emergency repairs of, who knows, tent, frog togs, forehead, anything that might happen to come up. <laughs> uh, so these are four new things I have never hiked with that I am hiking with on the Wachita Trail. Okay, so... 
Duffman says, take care of yourself, take care of the planet, leave no trace. I'm out. <laughs>